Hey guys, welcome back to the sculpture. What I'm going to be doing in this one is working on the drapery that's going to go over the leg. And I'm using this cloth that I cut in half and I wanted to see how it looks over the leg so I can sculpt over it. And what I did is wet it so it has a little bit more weight to the sculpture. And then I took a bunch of photos and I am working from my phone just to sculpt out the drapery. Now the drapery is going to be a two-fold thing. It adds a little bit of an element, <clears throat> like an aesthetic element, and it also, it's the support that's going to support the entire figure. So that is why a lot of antique sculptures have drapery or tree stumps next to the legs. It's so it supports the entire figures including marbles. If you pay attention to marble sculptures, the figures generally are not just held on by two little tiny feet on the ground. Even the Michelangelo has a little bit of a tree trunk supporting that right contrapposto leg. This is something that all sculptures generally have. It is a little bit difficult working when you have a skull mountain supporting that right arm but I work slowly and I add clay and I do have to move the entire shape of the clay. Now what I'm doing here is making a hole in the back because this sculpture is getting kind of heavy and when you fire it you need to have it hollow. So I am taking out a lot of the clay from the inside and you have to do this when it's a little bit dry but you can see I am using a wire tool to dig it out and I'm digging towards the shoulders and I'm digging down and I'm digging up. Now I'm going to this dig takes quite a, bit of time. a hole in the head and I'm going to make the head nice and hollow. The point here is that I'm going to scoop as much as I can and connect it to the hole that I made in the upper back. And now I'm going to take the wire tool and just make sure that there's a nice tunnel going from the head to the chest. Since I'm planning on firing these sculptures, you need to have it hollow inside, and that's the reason I'm doing this. Now I'm doing the same thing for the shoulders and the triceps, and I'm even using a drill. This is something new that I started using because I can make it. So I create a pipe all the way down to the elbow and then cover it up easily with some wet clay. And you have to make sure that the clay adheres to the drier clay because the clay that I'm putting is much wetter. So a lot of times you have to get the clay surrounding it nice and wet so it sticks together. A lot of times that I've seen the clay doesn't really adhere properly. So as it dries, there's cracks that appear throughout that area. Now you can start to see a little bit of the drapery and what I intend to do with it. In the future, I will be putting up a small model with some drapery so I can really model drapery a little bit more realistic than what I have. But at this point, it adds some structure to the leg and I think it looks fairly well. All right guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.